Hello, welcome back to Delectable You. This week we are making vegan gluten-free black bean burgers. And the great thing about meatless burgers is that the possibilities are endless. You can use black beans, chickpeas, lentils, quinoa, whatever you want, any kind of binder. We're not gonna use eggs in this recipe. We're gonna use flax meal to bind everything together, but you can do whatever you want. Today, we're doing it my way. So, vegan, gluten-free black bean burgers. You're gonna need a food processor. It's just better that way. It helps to grind up the oats and the seeds that we're gonna use. If you don't have one, a Vitamix would do. Blender probably won't do, so we're gonna need a food processor for sure. So the first thing we're gonna do is take a half a cup of gluten-free rolled oats and a quarter of a cup of sunflower seeds and we're gonna blend them all up so that they're coarsely chopped in this food processor. So here are my oats and my sunflower seeds. Bye-bye. Okay, so this is now coarsely chopped and nice and incorporated. So we're gonna add pretty much all of the rest of our ingredients with one exception. So we have two cans, 15 ounce cans of black beans that we have rinsed and drained, but we're actually only gonna put three quarters of them in the food processor right now. And we're gonna leave a few of them to put in after so that we have some whole black beans in this black bean burger. Otherwise, we're gonna put everything else in. So, what is everything else? Well, come on over here and I'll show you. We'll do it together. So, we'll put our black beans in, which uh, looks like about two and a half cups. And then we've got two carrots that have been grated. You can use a food processor, it makes it easier. Half a red pepper that has been finely chopped, a quarter of a cup of flaxseed meal to bind everything together so our burger doesn't fall apart, a tablespoon of parsley, no need to chop it up because the food processor will do that for you. And now we have our spices and what I have in this bowl right here is a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of cumin, a half a teaspoon of coriander, a half a teaspoon of chili powder, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, a quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, a teaspoon of kosher salt, and about a quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper. In you go. Now all we need to do, put this lid on tight and pulse it all together. So while this is running, you're gonna add in about a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. If you want more to make it a little bit more dense, you can add more, but a tablespoon should do. So I'm gonna turn this on. All right. Smells so good. I love this. So it's nice and incorporated. So now the last step before they go in the oven is to put this in a bowl and watch your fingers because this blade is extremely sharp. Take that out first and then put all of this in a bowl and then we're just gonna add in the last of the beans, mix it all together, and then we're gonna make some patties and bake these bad boys so that we can finally eat dinner. I'm just gonna use my hands because they're already dirty. Mix this all together. So, now I'm going to wash off my hands and then I'm going to wet them. So I've got a bowl of water here and the reason I'm gonna wet my hands is so that I can pick up the patties and make them with my hands directly, but the water will make it so that they don't stick to my hands. And then I'm gonna put them on a non-stick baking sheet 
my nonstick baking sheets have seen better days. So I'm actually gonna oil up my sheet so that it doesn't stick to the bottom. So if yours look like mine, you should oil it up and then put the patties on there and then we're gonna bake them at 325 for 30 to 40 minutes. So I'm gonna wash these first. All right, we have patties. We got 10 out of this batch. You can get less if you make them bigger or more if you make them smaller. It's totally up to you. Just make sure they're not too, too thick because you want them to cook through. So I'm going to bake these at 325 for 30 to 40 minutes or until they're done. And then we'll have supper. Bake beautifully. It's hamburger time. Well, it's not really hamburger time because there's beef in these. Hello, look at that. They look so pretty and they smell so good. Vegan gluten-free black bean burgers. It's what's for dinner. Well, it's what's for our dinner right now. I'm gonna go and eat these with my husband because we're hungry. I suggest putting these on a bun, probably a sprouted wheat bun, or uh, you could put it on a bed of lettuce, which is what we're gonna do, actually kale, and top it with avocado and whatever else your little heart desires. But go ahead and make these and enjoy them as much as we do. This has been Lauren with Delectable Youth. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you again next week.